So I should start by saying, actually, we prefer the term geek uh, to nerds. <laughs> uh, no, it's cool. Actually, um, and it, it is interesting because um, I come before you to represent two communities effectively and a couple of key ideas that I'm pretty passionate about. First of all, my background's uh, industry. Yes, I've been a geek most of my life. Um, and, um, and it's the geek community that uh, has through hacker culture from the 60s right through to now. We, uh, we brought you the internet, so yeah, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> the, and the internet effectively has been the mechanism that has managed to massively distribute all the traditional bastions of power. You think about communications, you think about publishing and sharing of ideas, you think about monitoring, not just monitoring down, but monitoring across and monitoring up. I mean, Foucault would have had an absolute ap apoplexy about the, uh, the internet. Um, it, turns the, um, uh, it turns his model completely upside down. Um, and also, and this is where it gets very controversial, uh, it's distributed enforcement. Enforcement isn't who's got the biggest sword or the biggest gun. Enforcement is anyone with a computer. We are living in a fascinating age, and um, the, the technical premise of the internet and the technical basis that makes up this, this um, communications um, hub that we all use has, has started to change society fundamentally. The concept, the technical concept of to route around damage, how many people here have heard of that concept? A few, there's not too many geeks in the crowd. Um, but that technical concept basically means that if anything goes wrong on the internet, you know, there's a technical way around it. What we're seeing is that very concept starting to come into the society. You know, if something gets in your way, be it technical or social or cultural, you route around the damage. You figure out how to get it to what you're trying to achieve in a different way. We're starting to see some fundamental shifts, um, which is starting to um, move uh, the big traditional uh, hierarchical organizations to have to operate in a different way. So I've been a geek my whole life. I've worked in the IT industry for many years, and now I'm working in um, the public service. I worked in a pol politician's office for three years, so I could understand the executive and legislative arms of government, uh, which I, I think I have a reasonable grasp on now. Um, and now I'm working in the public service to understand the administrative arm of government, because of course, Government is the thing that most affects our lives. It also most empowers and enables in, in many ways, apart from the internet, of course, uh, a lot of people. Um, and the confusion between politics versus the public service, I think, is, is a very damaging one because it gets a lot of people to feel disconnected from the decisions that affect their lives. And yet the public service engaging with the general public in policy development, in policy implementation, in the work, the services that we deliver is vital. So. I guess uh, what I do is I work on a thing called Gov 2.0, which I know it's a stupid term, but bear with me. Uh, it means three key things. It means open data, opening up the information that we have access to, uh, which is an enormous amount of information so that people across government can use it better for better policy analysis, better um, service delivery development, all that kind of stuff. But it also means the people can hold us to account. The people can actually have trust and, and um, in the decisions that are being made and the service and even develop new services and develop new ways of doing things. Uh, the second thing is participatory democracy. You know, if we take a um, collaborative and co-production approach to creating things, then we can tap into uh, the information and the knowledge and the experience of the entire society. So we can respond to new threats, new opportunities in a better way. And if you have an iterative approach to policy, which says, okay, what are we trying to achieve? Is it achieving it? What's some new recommendations? Let's update the policy on an ongoing basis. Even bad policy turns into good policy very quickly. So, you know, this is a, a new way of doing things. And the third thing is citizen centricity. You guys, in fact, us as well, because I do like to say that public servants are citizens too, um, everyone actually, no one, should I say, actually cares about the structure of government and which sphere of government it is that's delivering a particular service. You just want to know where are the health services. You just want to know where do I send my kid to school. Um, you, and, and so we need to start thinking about government in this citizen-centric way, which says, how do we uh, deliver services in a way which is thematic? rather than based on a hierarchy? How do we make it so that when there's a machinery of government change of any sort, it doesn't um, get in the way of being able to deliver services um, you know, really well and be able to serve the society? I mean, most public servants actually really care about public service and, you know, and doing the right thing by the society. And so these, these changes in process and methodologies and, um, and tools and the ability to talk directly to the people um, gives us you know, new opportunities to do these kinds of things. So open data participatory democracy, and citizen centricity are these three key things of Gov 2.0. So from my perspective, and I know, you know I'm a big geek, but technology, um, government keeping its thumb on the pulse, or finger on the pulse, um, of what's happening technologically uh, ends up becoming a, a, a way that we can um, leverage these tools. Because a lot of people talk about social media and you know, the social media 
um, revolution. But social media is just part of a broader cultural change. We've seen this happening you know, in lots of different ways, and this is just the latest iteration. We've seen the, the free culture perspective, the free software and open source software communities. I always get kind of amused when people talk about, oh, you know, uh, we can apply this new methodology in order to collaborate with people all around the world. Well, you know, we've been making software in that way for 20 years, and you know, we've got some good experience of how to do it. So if you want to know how to do proper cross-disciplinary, cross every traditional barrier to entry or barrier to communication um, ways of doing things, you know, just come and talk to the geeks. We've been doing it for a while. And the other thing is that everything that you try to do, inevitably, you use technology to implement. So if you don't have some technological and technologically minded people involved in your strategy development, in your technical, sorry, in, in um, the process of designing what you're trying to do, you're going to miss opportunities and you're going to miss um, new ways of doing things. So I guess from my perspective, government, it is vital that we in government um, work very collaboratively, work very openly and very transparently uh, to be able to uh, best respond to the changing needs of our society uh, and also to actually continue to be relevant to society. There will always be a place, I think, for government, and I don't think we've had the conversation in Australia nearly enough of what we expect of government. Even our most um, you know, right-wing conservatives would be considered hard, you know, hardcore social libertarians by most people in the US uh, because our expectations of government and our expectations of services and our expectations of what we get from society is, is actually relatively egalitarian. But I think having that conversation about what we expect is a very important thing to have at this point in time so that we can continue to serve everyone's interests. So there's a couple of thoughts for you. Um, I'm looking forward to the discussion and um, I'll take a seat. Thank you very much.